Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric wooden wall crank telephone and this is Richard's telephone from New Mexico. He has a note here with the telephone and it says convert for modern use as an extension telephone. So what we want to do, this is the initial checkout. We want to troubleshoot the receive, the transmit. We know the bells are ringing when you crank the crank, but we also need to install a circuit that allows you to walk up to this telephone and crank the magneto and ring the bells, but yet not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line. And that way when you get a call, the telephone will also ring. We want to install a modular port on this telephone so that Richard can simply walk up to it with any length, any color line cord, and go ahead and plug into the modular port. Makes for a clean, simple, easy plug and play connection. The spit cup on this telephone is missing, so we'll ask Richard if he has that spit cup or if we need to locate one for him. Now the bells do ring when you crank the crank. That's a plus. We also want to take a look at the inside of this telephone. We have a schematic here that we'll get a picture of. And of course your solenoid for your bells, your magneto, and all your wiring. We're going to go ahead and get a start on this telephone. We'll get some more video of it as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this telephone. And so what we've done is we've installed our circuit that allows us to walk up to this telephone and crank the magneto and ring the bells, but yet not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line. Now, we also are able to get a telephone call and the original bells ring. So we want to do a test on that. We've also installed our modular port for our line cord, so Richard can simply bring in any length, any color line cord he chooses and that makes for an easy, clean, plug-and-play connection. And we're at the point now, we want to test the magneto and ring the bells, but we also want to ring the bells with the analyzer like you're getting a call. And then we're going to do some uh, other conversions and repairs, and we'll talk about them in a second. So we'll go ahead and crank the telephone. And now we want to go ahead and ring the telephone with the analyzer. I'm going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll stop that. Okay, the issue now that we want to take care of is we've talked to Richard on the telephone with this phone and the original transmitter is not quite uh, up to par. It's not going to uh, be good enough to hold a reliable conversation on. So we're going to upgrade and we build and design a electronic amplified transmitter here at the shop and we're going to be installing that in place of the original transmitter. We also want to repair the receiver cloth cord. That's broken half on one side and the other side is frayed so bad we're just going to replace all that. We'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone and we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this telephone. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and replaced 
the handset cloth cord with a cloth cord. We went through the receiver. That's original to the telephone and it is working. We replaced the transmitter with an amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop. So Richard will not have to be right up on this telephone and talk right into the spit cup when he's using this telephone. He can stand back away from it and this transmitter is sensitive enough that will have no problem picking up his voice. So he'll be able to have the quality conversation that he would need when he's on the telephone. We also went through the solenoid, oiled, checked some things on that, made sure they were adjusted, the magneto, the wiring. We rewired some of the wiring so we want this telephone to work the way we want it to work. We also installed a circuit that allows you to crank the magneto and ring the bells but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and when you get a call that comes in your original bells will ring. Richard has his spit cup. We just put a shop spit cup on there for the video. So now what we want to do is we want to show you the inside of the telephone. We also have a line modular port so all Richard has to do is simply bring his line cord in, plug it right in, any length, any color, makes for a plug and play, easy, simple connection. So we basically went through a little bit of everything on the telephone. And now what we want to do is we want to start our final checks. So we'll go ahead and ring the unit. We also want to use the analyzer like we were getting a call. We'll let that go. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is I have a button here on the switch box and I can use a tone dialer and we'll call a time and temp number. Now they're having problems with their equipment. The recording will start, you'll probably hear a hum and then the recording will continue unless they've repaired that. It's on their end, has nothing to do with what we're doing. But I also want to try something here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the hook switch once. And if you watch that red light on the analyzer, I'm pretty far away from this telephone and every time I transmit, you can see this red light. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. You can see how sensitive the transmitter is by watching that light, which is an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get our tone generator ready. And we'll go ahead and push our button. That gives us a line out. We'll give you some dial tone here. Good evening. Today is Friday, April 18th. The time is 721. Current temperature 75 degrees. Weatherphone is another community service of First Clover Leaf Bank. Mostly sunny today with highs around 70. Mostly clear this evening was in the mid 40s. Mostly sunny Saturday. Highs in the mid 70s. Okay. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Richard, and he can enjoy this telephone now. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. It's in very good condition. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.